Hello and welcome to Arabic language lessons. This is lesson number 11, uh, the meaning letters. الدرس رقم 11 حروف المعاني And we say at the beginning السلام عليكم If you remember what we um, talked about before when we uh, introduced Abu al-Aswad al-Duali and what he said about the Arabic speech Al-Kalam, Al-Arabi and we mentioned those three things Ism, Wa Fi'il, Wa Harf We're in the Harf section Yeah, we can call it section, yeah And Harf literally is letter or you can call it conjunction. We've dealt with two before uh, the Shadda and the Alif Lam and today we're going to talk about more of them as you have might uh, noticed that we already, you know, deal the uh, like in your mind while I was saying that. I mean, of course you've noticed that we did the letters. I mean, like when I was talking, when I was saying it, you're like, well, we did the letters. Yes, the the letters we did are called the building letters. Huruf al mabani, and those are the building letters. And today we're going to talk about the meaning letters. And this is uh, their definition. Huruf uh, al-ma'ani, the meaning letters. And they're basically tools used to connect words within a sentence. Like or or and. Or in Arabic, wa and uh, aw. So that, that's, that's what they're really, you know, there's many definitions, but I felt like this one is a good one. Tools used to connect words. And you stop there and... Within a sentence, you know, just a little bit. And, you know, that's that's like basically it. That Those are the meaning letters by definition. Today, uh, we're going to deal with uh, a section of them. Uh, or a door. <laughs> Let's just say section. So, uh, uh, so, there are three kinds. One deals with the names, like it specializes in dealing with the names. And one deals only with actions or afal. Uh, names asma, asma, and afal actions. And there is a section that deals with both. And from that section, I picked a mini section called huruf al atf. And we'll get to them. That that's what we're gonna do today. Huruf al atf. And later, hopefully, we'll do more. And we'll start, you know, getting. De you know, deeper in this Arabic sea, but today uh, we're dealing with huruf al atf. So, uh, huruf al atf, they uh, translate it literally to uh, the conjunctions. Sorry, they just translate it to the conjunctions, but uh, literally, atf in this sense is uh, bending. So, it's like saying you're bending a word with another word using that letter. You know, that's, you know, I think that's how uh, they came up with it when they gave them this name. They're like, oh, we're going to bend this letter on this letter. So we're just going to call them the bending letters or the letters that bend the words. Something like that. But yeah, this is uh, the definition of it. And uh, those are all of them. The bending letters or huruf al atf And... As uh, I already mentioned, we, we've dealt with wa and aw. Wa is just and. Fa is an interesting one because you'll see it like hanging in the beginning of a word. You'll see it like, and then the word starts, but it's like attached to the word at the beginning. And uh, you, you'll see it with the examples, of course. But uh, I, I just wanted to put them next to each other like this instead of going one by one. Because I wanted, I wanted to make a distinction between some of them. Because, uh, you know, when you translate it in a dictionary, they'll, they'll just tell you, uh, like if you translate fa, it'll tell you it means then. If you translate thumma, it will also tell you that it means then. But there's a distinction between them. And that's why they're next to each other here. Because fa means then, but in an immediate sense, like it's happening right after. 
But when you say thumma, it means then, but not immediate. Like it could take a year, it could take a while, but you're just saying that it happened after it. But you're not saying that it happened immediately after it. So you can see the distinction between those two. Hatta means until. Aw is or. M is also or. But uh, they also, this is the same situation that's ha it's happening here. It's happening here again. And uh, the, the, first, the first one, aw, uh, gives, uh, an, implies choice, among other things, like six other things. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. But yeah, for now, or, let's just go, like, it's, it's or. M also is or, but it implies, like, equality among other three things. Like, whether, or, and, uh, bell is but, Lakin is also but, but but this one has uh, like it's kind of but instead, like it, it gives you uh, like an alternative, like like it's saying the one that happened before bell is not true, but the thing that is happening after bell is the one that's true, you know. There's like an instead, and yeah, the same thing that happens with uh, those two and those two, like they'll be like books written about why those two are different and how they're different and you know they list those six things those other three things and they give you like different opinions and it goes on and on but uh yeah i feel like in the basic sense you can just uh, always uh relate bell that the thing before it is not true the thing after it is true and deal with this one like a, a regular but, like just it's, it's just a regular but for now. But uh, hopefully in the future we can, like uh, you know, go deep into these things. Uh, la, which also means no, like you know when you just say la, you're saying no. But uh, in in the sense of connecting letters, it's uh, in the sense of connecting letters when it comes to bending letters because you you might find it somewhere else in another group but in when it's in this group the bending letters it's it's it behaves like not or you know it behaves as an opposite like if if the sentence is true when you put la you make it untrue does that make sense like in programming the when you put a not maybe why am i bringing this up but it, it just if you put it, if you put la in the beginning of a sentence, it will make it not true. If you remove it, it will become true. If it doesn't make sense, hopefully in the examples, uh, it will stop making sense. So let's uh, begin with the example. And of course, la is at the beginning. So uh, you have in uh, verse... Uh, just before I, I go into the verses, I just want to say a few things. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go back. Those moves uh, are important, just uh, in case. Like, you, you notice in some letters I did not put uh, the moves, but in some I did. And the ones I did is because, uh, you know, <laughs> it could mean something else if you switch the moves or you play with the moves. So the moves are important. The shed the here and here and you know, especially this one. Oh yeah, especially this one. The the moves are important. And uh, the other things I wanted to say before we go into the examples, sorry, the the verses, is uh, focus on the red. Like everything that we dealt with, I've uh, highlighted in red. But uh, it's 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 better if you open your own English. Uh, uh, Quran, uh, sorry, your own translation of the meaning of the Quran in English, uh, or go to Quran.com and you know have the page. We're only dealing with uh, uh, the cow chapter, Al Baqarah. So you know you can just scroll if you go to that website. It's it's just scrolling, S scrolling. Yeah. Saying it right, like this. You know. <laughs> Anyhow, so that that's uh, what I wanted to say. 
سواء ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين لا ريب like that's we're focusing on the red one as I mentioned like we have to just you know we'll worry about the other ones uh, some other time but you probably know this one right الكتاب ال and كتاب right but uh, كتاب also doesn't doesn't only mean book it could also mean uh, uh, you know writing or a written document like something or the written you know because it's fine right kitab anyhow uh, la makes this one not true raib is uh, like check doubt like there's this so it says there isn't any doubt like it's making doubt negative like it's not it's non-existence right fi is in it right and it depends on how you read it that's why they put those markers here the stop mark so you could read it from here and then you stop here or you could read it from here and then you stop here and then you and it uh, 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 makes the meaning slightly different but uh that's definitely for another lesson or probably another you know tutor uh or when we get deep into this maybe we'll you know but uh we're focusing on la so la here made this word negative like not it's like saying it is not or there isn't whatever this is it's not true because la is here la raiba la raiba like no doubt there isn't any doubt fi in it right all right moving to this one yeah it's uh, we're still in the cow this is the just the second chapter and so cow 2 and now we're in cow 3 and uh, from 3 to 5 we're here and you, you can see it all over the place right you know the red the wa and you can see it like it's like sticking to the words right it's awesome it's like next to the words so this is something and you can read it in your book the ones that believe in the unknown and and you can see it in the, your book you know perform prayer or do prayer but this is like and so it's like saying this and this and this and then it continues and this and then it continues and this and this so it's it's linking all of these like they're bending into each other like that it's making it like one thing like say like the one that believe in the unknown and perform prayer or uh, pra practice prayer or you could say uh, preserve prayer salah and you know and from what we have given them in rizq and see that's why I wanted to leave it for some other time because we we uh, we have to dissect the words right like this one and this one like the I think the the next lesson should be pronouns I think you might agree with me because we're seeing a lot of pronouns here like this is a pronoun here and there's here and inside here yeah this one is a pronoun here is a pronoun you know here as well yeah definitely the next one should be pronouns well what do you guys think let me know in the comment like we should uh, do pronouns yeah they're all here pronoun anyhow but uh, all these reds are and so if you, if you look in your English book you, you'll see that there's and 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 so yeah yeah the, the last one is yeah so th those ones are together and then those two are together based on this those are the ones on uh, guidance from uh, you know their Lord see pronoun again yeah put them in blue in the next lesson like we'll do pronouns yeah I think uh, uh, <laughs> being a dictator I'm like oh pronouns yeah, if you, we should do pronouns let me know in the comment section is it too soon to do pronouns or should we do pronouns 
and uh, you know based on the comments uh, we should do pronouns come on I'm voting for pronouns vote on the comment section <laughs> all right so the next here we have M and all of them are not in uh, order but uh, you probably should have this next to you somewhere like write those down pause it write them down you know have them somewhere as we move because they're not in order so so there's like equality as we mentioned so here is you warned them so sawa is whether you warn them or you don't warn them lam tundirhum you didn't warn them la yu'minu so the 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 one that's being uh, negative yu'minun means i uh, believe and there's a pronoun here so yeah, i'm telling you we got to do pronouns but uh you know yu'minun is they believe so la yu'minun is like they don't believe or they 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 yeah it's like making it not true not believing like they they're not going to believe like if we just put it in English grammar, it's like whether you uh, warned them or you did not warn them, they're not going to believe. You know, it's, it's the same. So, see, that's why uh, it says uh, uh, it implies equality. So, whatever is before it, see, you have sawat here, and then this, this part, and then that part. It's saying like M in the middle between them implies equality between those two so you know it's like saying whether you study or you don't study you're not going to pass the test so it's like if you study you're failing if you don't study you're still failing you know there's equality i guess in outcome or between those two i hope it makes sense if it doesn't make sense let me know in the comments and here we have fa and as I mentioned to you before, how it sticks to the word, like if, if it's not in red, you might notice, you might think it's in the word, right? And oh my God, there was all the pronouns. Pronoun here. Sorry, I gotta pay attention. I apologize. There's just there's too many pronouns in front of me. Too many. Anyways, uh, sorry. So, كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَكُنْتُمْ أَمْوَاتًا فَأَحْيَاكُمْ So you were, وَكُنْتُمْ like, this we're focusing on this one here. Wa kuntum. Oh yeah, there is a wa here. Should make it red. All right. So wa kuntum amwatan. So you were dead. Fahyakum. And then he made you alive. And uh, I've noticed when I uh, first like brought this here, I'm like, well, this might not make sense because I mentioned that uh, immediate. And you know, based on interpretation, they was like, "Oh, well, you were dead in your mother's womb, and then suddenly you you got uh, the soul or something, like something like that." But uh, in linguistic terms, it means immediately, like you know, you were dead, and then and then after it, immediately you were alive. So that's why they 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 say this means the mother's womb, because it's a fa, it's not a thumma, right? Anyhow, uh, th this this one makes more sense, probably, hopefully. فَتَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ So, and then, so if you, if you in your book, you can read the uh, number like 36, because this is 38, 37, this is 37, typo, 37. So this is 37 the cow and i think by now you should all like if you've seen all the lessons you know what cow means like this is cow here making it uh green green is green good can you see it all right so the cow means uh you know al baqara the al baqara baqara is cow so you should know this word all right, so فَتَلَقَّى uh, and, and then he received who, who, Adam from his Lord words and then right after immediately Allah uh, accepted his repentance. He is uh, the most accepting of repentance, uh, the most merciful, you know. 
Does it make sense? Yeah. Are we doing this one? I feel like uh, we changed style, but uh, is this uh, does this work? Let me know if you got it. Like how? Fataqa Adam min Rabbihi kalimati fataba ali. So after, right after, and then he, uh, right after uh, he received the words, he uh, accepted his repentance. All right, let's move on. Waiting for your comments. So this is the other one here. Thumma and thumma again here and thumma here. Kaifa is how takfuruna disbelieve and oh, again the pronouns. Billahi wa kuntum amwatan. We did this one before. Yeah, uh, yeah, twenty-eight. We did twenty-eight. Thumma yumi to kum. Thumma yuhi kum. Thumma ilayhi turjan. You see, like this one takes time. This one is immediate. Do you see the difference here? It's right in the same ayah. Uh, 28, the cow. You see here, how do you disbelieve in uh, Allah? And you were dead, and then right after, then you were alive. You know, then you were alive. And then here, the then here, which is thumma, you meet It takes time. Like you, you, you might live like a year, you might live a hundred years but that that's time it's not right after you don't just you know come to this life and then suddenly you're dead right you live so that's why thumma is used so thumma you meet and then you die thumma you then he will bring you to life and there's time here you know there's people that have died i don't know like you know a thousand years ago they're still not alive right that, so th this is the, this here, the time period here, in this one. So they're dead now, and they haven't uh, been brought back to life yet. So they're still in this state. And when we die, we're, we're going to enter this time. Like this. And then all of us, you know, will go, ثُمَّ يُحْيِيكُمْ ثُمَّ إِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ So we're, we'll be alive, and then we're going to return to him. ثُمَّ إِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ do you, do, you, do you notice how the thumma works and how the fa works? Because, uh, you know, you don't want to confuse those two. And we're going to say it one last time. The fa here is immediate. So this, this happened, and then this happened right after. But the thumma are as stages that involve time. Like there's time between them, you know. It could be right after, but most but it, it could also mean time it could also mean but that one is definite like if, if it's if it's a, if someone uses a fa like that kuntum amwatan fa'ahyakum it implies immediate but this one doesn't which you you might suggest that there's time it could be a short time it could be a long time god knows right all right so uh yeah we have the wa here and we have the fa here again but let's do the hatta. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ I'm only just saying this so you can hear it uh, in, in very slow instead of when you hear it uh, in a recording of, you know, when someone reads it with tajweed and, you know, it just sounds so beautiful you forget, you know. <laughs> it's like you don't, you might not pay attention to the words. I don't know. I'm going to say it very slow, right? وَإِذْ وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرَةً فَأَخَذَتْكُمُ الصَّاعِقَةُ وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْظُرُونَ So, I think let's just say this part that we're dealing with again. لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى So, uh, the first one, and then you said, Oh Moses, we're not gonna believe uh, for you, or or you know believe in you. I guess <laughs> have your uh, Quran in front of you because uh, if I make mistakes, you'll have the English translations where you know uh, specialized scholars and this that you know spend a lifetime doing this. Uh, you know, so I don't make mistakes. Hatta, hatta, hatta until. Until we see Allah. 
So again, like hatta hatta until not Allah jahratan, which will your book uh, in front of you or the screen in front of you probably say until we see Allah in front of us like jahratan. فأخذتكم الصائقة and then right after you know the صائقة came upon you. وأنتم تنظرون and so while this was happening see how the wa is joining those two أنتم تنظرون وأخذتكم الصائقة together so it's like and then right after this happened and that happened do you see how it works like how فا and wa work and حتى works if it makes sense let me know I am uh, trying to make this uh, easy but uh, if if I make it complicated don't be shy to tell me tell me like look this this you made this complicated you know let's do it again or something and I'll try to you know uh, make it easier and again we have thumma we have fa here and we have al and I think this is what it's not right after it no it's not right uh, yeah, we dealt with thumma and fa. Fa is again here. Fahiya kal hijara. After that, like right after, it became like kal hijara, like the stone or rock. Aw ashad dukhasa. Did we deal with aw? Because it's right here. So it's like thumma, right? After that, if you read the uh, verses before it, you'll understand what's going on here. And then it's like thumma qasat qulubukum min ba'di that. So your heart, your hearts became, uh, you know, hard after that. So after after that, maybe like some time have passed. God knows. So when that happened, when your hearts uh, became like stones, no, sorry, became uh, hard. And then it it was like the stone right after it was like the stone, or. And see here, this is the choice, or ashad qaswa, or harder than you know, the stone. Does that make sense? Here uh, is the choice. It's like this or that. Oh, the or here is for uh, uh, choice. So it's either this or that. Yeah. All right. Here, waqalu qulubuna gulf bel. So. Uh, Allah is saying that whatever this is, it's not true. What is after it is true. Does that mean bel? Instead, you know. But instead, no, no. It's not that this is not true. This is true. That's what I, you know. What Allah is saying, and that's what this word is implying. And they said, "Our hearts is this." And Allah is saying, "No, no, it's not true. This is not true." Bel. Allah has cursed them because of their kufr. Pronoun, right here. Pronoun. فَقَلِيلًا مَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Then after that, uh, uh, they believe very little. Alright, we have them, the three of them, right here. And I think the, this, is, uh, this is 12. It's at it's the second page, yeah, right after. When you flip the page, you open the book, second page. Yeah. أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ هُمُ الْمُفْسِدُونَ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ So, uh, let's, let's, can, should we dissect this? Yeah, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is the last one, so we'll dissect it. So, let's dissect this word. Okay, P. So we have it here. لا يشعرون. This is one part, like the end. ولكن. لكن here is but and but and then it says this, which we will dissect. So uh, first we're gonna separate the pronoun. So this this is a pronoun, and uh, it makes it plural. And we should have a lesson just for it. And here is the verb. No, 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 come back here. So, 
Here, this is the verb. It uh, comes from the uh, the root sha a ra, right? And if you remember how uh, the the templates work, like sha a ra, like that one, sha a ra, sha a ra. That means he felt. Yashur, this one, Yashur means he feels like it's it's a mudari. If you remember that that one, mudari, which is like present, present. So this one is the past. It comes from the root sha'ara. That's the root, and this is the past form. And that one is the present or mudare form. Does it make sense? And then when we bring back the pronoun, it becomes plural. And then when we bring back the not or the la, la, so la yash'urun means they do not feel or, the, or they're not aware. Do you see how that worked? Great. So here, and but they do not feel or they do not, they're not aware of what, you know, of it. And this is 12. If you, can, if you can go, you can read it and you can see it there. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is the last part of this lesson. And hopefully the, the next lesson, which I haven't started working on, but uh, I will when I get time. Uh, God willing, uh, is going to be probably pronoun. Like the next lesson, like 12, lesson 12 will be pronoun or 13. Like maybe when I make the lesson, I realize, hey, wait, I should talk about this before pronoun because it will explain pronoun. Same way I did it with the shedda, the drag or the emphasis. The emphasis, yeah. When we had to do the al, sorry, we had to do the shedda before the al, the alif lam. If you remember how we connected the lessons so that might happen but uh, hopefully God willing it will be pronouns because you know we touched upon it here and maybe we should go a little bit uh, with more examples and you know because you know uh, we saw a lot of pronouns in this lesson and I'm like pronouns you gotta do pronouns but uh, it will be probably a while before uh, I make the lesson I uh, I really just wanted to make 10 lessons and then wait and see the response if there's a, a need if there's people that want to learn this on YouTube or you know or if it's just gonna be left there and how it's gonna be because this is more like interactional like I, I want to get some uh, you know suggestions and you know how we go go about it together like I don't want to you know make 20 lessons and then People were like, oh, well, I watched the 20 lessons and it didn't make any sense. And be like, oh, God, you know, I got to make them again. But uh, I, I'm thankful for the, you know, comments that I got and the suggestions and, you know, have them in my mind while I make the lessons. And it helps me because uh, I feel like I'm going to remake the root lesson in the future and, you know, go again on the lessons and try to make them easier and go like, wait, this, this was, uh, you know, this wasn't said right, you know. So it's still uh, a project in process, but uh, you know I just wanted to put it out there. Uh, let me know uh, in the comment section what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? Am I doing a good job? If it's you know if it's not bad, you know let me know. Like I, I need uh, I need to know. Uh, I have to do uh, another. I have two other projects that I'm working on, so I I will pause this for a while. Uh, maybe come back in Ramadan or after Ramadan you know I'm not sure but uh, I will come back like this, this is not gonna stop here inshallah God willing we have to say inshallah uh, I will keep going if you know you guys want me to keep going I mean you know and uh, yeah so uh, let me know in the comment section And yeah, before we go, yeah, this is uh, different because I might not see you before Ramadan. So we always say, you know, for Ramadan, 
uh, when it's about to come, we say Ramadan Kareem, a generous Ramadan. And you know what Kareem is, we've encountered it in uh, attributes. So we're giving the attribute Kareem, generous, to Ramadan. Ramadan. So, as usual, Ma'a as-salama. 